We are dressing for the weather and not caring about sweating through everything. We're having the best time. The heat has not slowed down a busy weekend in Louisville as bourbon and beyond drew thousands in for its third day. You're watching Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. Today has drawn in the most people from Louisville's biggest music festival. Check out these crowds at bourbon and beyond all getting to hear Zach Bryan headline day three. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes has a look at how those crowds are contributing to another uptick in city tourism. Noel Ottoman Park was not a place you wanted to drive through today, but on this hot final day of summer, Louisville shine doing what it does best with a cold drink and a good time. As September draws to a close, Louisville's tourism scene is in the thick of the busy season. Flanked by summer travel and holiday attractions, the music scene is ushering in thousands more people. Yeah, when we, we first in, walked in, we just started we just twirling, twirling in circles, twirling in circles with our arms out, so excited We're to be fun. without kids, just having fun, the two of us. Eva and Aaron Hummel are taking it easy on day three of their first bourbon and beyond with a cold glass of beer and a sampling of Kentucky's finest. Yeah. We got a special pour of something delicious. Yeah, we got a more expensive pour. It called, the occasion called for it. A special pour and a special weekend away for the Ohio couple. He's been a stay-at-home dad this last year while I've been at work, so I wanted to do something special for Father's Day and his birthday. And here we are without kids listening to his favorite bands. We're having the best time. The same could be said for this Wilmington, North Carolina pair. They're no strangers to a festival scene, but they're enjoying what sets bourbon and beyond apart from the rest. A lot of it is uh, just all the different bourbon vendors that are here that kind of do their own curated space. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's not your, your standard Bud Light, Budweiser, Coors Light, stands everywhere. While the Expo Center was packed with music fans looking for a glass of bourbon, Cards fans were out in full force looking for a win. We always come to tailgate, have to cheer on our cards, and this is a, I had to miss the last game because my knee replacement surgery, so we wanted to get out here early today so I could enjoy it. Love, love to have a blowout. I even put $20 on the game today. <laughs> The only word for that kind of enthusiasm is dedication, and lucky for Rodney, it paid off. Louisville football soared to a 31 to 19 win against their first ACC opponent of the season. Go card. While a footballless Sunday will slim crowds down, Bourbon and Beyond is set to keep the music going throughout the weekend and into next week with the 10th annual Louder Than Life Festival. Louisville expects to record about 375,000 visitors by the end of the back-to-back -back festivals and see more than $12 million in economic impact. And Kentucky native Tyler Childers will close out the last day of Bourbon and Beyond tomorrow night. Alina Noak.